I just need more willpower and discipline. Does that sound familiar? What if I told you that the most successful people, the healthiest, the fittest, the most disciplined people, they all use a secret weapon that allows them to maximize their willpower. And it all but guarantees their success. And in this video, I'm going to share with you this simple trick so you can stop relying on your willpower so much and finally accomplish your weight loss goals for the last time. The people that you know that have the most self-control or self-discipline or what we might call willpower, they're most often the people that don't actually have to use it all that much. You're likely aware of the fact that willpower is a limited resource. Once you use it all up during a given period of time, it's gone. That's typically why it gets more and more difficult to stick to your new habits the longer you invoke sheer willpower to implement them. It's why when I used to allow myself zero wiggle room with how strict I was when I would eat, by the time I made it to the weekend, it was a complete crap show because I had used up all of my willpower during the week. I avoided the pizza and the candy Monday through Friday and I ate a ton of it on the weekends. When your willpower gets depleted, that's when you start to make those compromises that you said you weren't going to make anymore. That's when your old behaviors start creeping back in and you're left wondering why you can't simply be more disciplined. And you vow to try again harder next week. And next time you'll use more willpower and more discipline to get you through it. Yes, you're going to need some willpower in order to make changes to your eating habits and to your lifestyle, but you can't rely on willpower alone. And this is something that every successful person has learned and implemented at one point or another in their process. If you really want to guarantee your long-term success, then you need to structure your environment in a way that allows you to not have to lean on your willpower entirely. Here is a real life example that's a little bit extreme, but I think it'll really drive home both the simplicity of this tool as well as just how powerful it really is. So most of you know that in my 20s, I was addicted to pain medication and then later on to heroin. Now about five years ago, I ripped my Achilles in half when I was playing soccer. I made some move like I was still in college and my 35 year old tendons, they said, nope, and, and it snapped right in half. Now my options were to never walk again or to get surgery. If I'm being honest, I was actually pretty nervous and scared about getting surgery because even though I'm not currently tempted by narcotics anymore, I know that those habits and behavioral tendencies, they're hardwired into my brain and into my body. Simply stated, I did not want to risk getting hooked on pain medication again. So I told my surgeon that I didn't want to be prescribed any narcotics. And guess what? It wasn't all that bad, right? More importantly, I wasn't even tempted to take pain medication because quite simply, I didn't have the pain medication as an option to even tempt me. Had I been prescribed it, right? Had I had it in the house with me, each and every day, I may have been tempted to use it. I would have had to make the decision, do I need this right now? Or do I want this right now? So I removed the entire dilemma at the source and in doing so, I removed the temptation altogether, which removes the need to invoke willpower or self-discipline. If you've ever attempted to lose weight or change your behavior before, you likely have heard of this simple yet very effective concept. My question for you though is, have you actually implemented it? Have you truly put it into action? When the guys that I coach break a longer fast, 
they have their meal already prepared for them so that they're not tempted to eat everything in sight. When I work with someone who can't seem to stop eating chocolate after everyone else in their house goes to sleep, we get the chocolate out of the house. If you eat an entire jar of peanut butter every Friday night and you feel that it's sabotaging your weight loss goals, stop buying peanut butter and get it out of the house. Research on habits has shown over and over that so often we engage in specific behaviors as a result of environmental cues. Once those patterns are triggered, it's seemingly impossible to stop. So your best chance, my best chance for changing behaviors is to change the environmental cues. Remove the temptations that cause you to engage in behaviors and habits that are no longer serving you and the goals that you wish to accomplish. It may sound so simple that you think this can't possibly be the answer, but I'm telling you, it is. And you need to start taking this seriously and you need to take action with this immediately. Willpower certainly is a necessary component to your success, but it's a limited resource. If you truly wish to change your life and change your behavior and change your outcome, then begin by taking control of your environment. Set yourself up in a way that you can reduce the need to use your willpower and make decisions, and then watch how effortlessly the change and the success will occur. The issue is not your willpower or your lack of self-discipline. The problem isn't even fundamentally you. The problem is the systems and the processes that you have in place or that you don't have in place. If you want to start building the right systems and processes to achieve permanent weight loss, then check this video out next.